Hello, everybody. Okay, so today I'm actually streaming right now while recording this, but I, I just had the perfect opportunity because we're up against Loki as Athena, and this is such a good matchup for Athena. This is this is a big counter Loki because my absorb shots actually makes it so he can't do damage to me. So with my one, if you know Athena's one, if you hit an enemy with her dash, she gains a block stack. That block stack blocks a basic attack. And with that's Loki's ability. His one and three, he won't be able to hit me, even after he ults. So it's a pretty big counter. But yeah, I'm streaming right now. Um, I, I see chat and everything, but I I don't I know that the YouTube video, you know, you won't be able to see chat. So let's see. I mean, I might get destroyed this matchup, but still. Oh, he, did he proxy me? No, that's not even proxy. It's like not even close to proxy. So this matchup, we pretty much want to just keep get our block stacks up. Um, I skipped the bands. I think it was... Well, I mean, do the bands matter? It's just Loki got through. <laughs> I banned all the mages that I usually do. and he, I know he banned Hoi, so I had a feeling it was Loki. I just fought this Loki actually as Capri, and I got destroyed. He's a he's a cool guy. He's nice. I went in chat saying, hi, YouTube. But but the, chi I, the, the chat won't be in the video. I'm sorry. Short shout outs to everyone in this room. Is it me? Is it me? Okay. It's also uh two AM, so <laughs> you know you know I it's real when I had to record a video at two AM because of how good the matchup is. Especially now that a lot more people are gonna be playing Loki, like once the masks come out. Um this is gonna be good to for people to know that Athena does really well against him. Also, when she's chasing him, if he ever goes invisible, she just taunts him out, like immediately. I mean, this we're still in the early game, right? So it's it, it's not going to help that much because then I use up my mana. But late game, chasing Loki helps a ton. Look at those absorb shots. He just counters his abilities. Ah, oh, that sucks. I don't I don't have the mana unfortunately. Um okay, so we can use the ability to clear the wave or we can take red buff, so we're gonna take red buff. Oh you guys yeah, you guys can actually hang on, let me actually You guys can use a say something nice, but if you guys say something inappropriate, I'm gonna have to disable it. That's just as a warning. Because you know. I can always edit it out. Okay, but back back to this match. I think uh I think an important thing about this match is also go breastplate for the cooldown and MP5, because otherwise Loki's gonna, you know, run havoc. You can kind of just base stack him down like this, and then once he does that, all right, all right, it should be fine. Maybe, maybe we're not fine. Oh, use a shell. All right, all right. Come on, Mage's Blessing. Mage's Blessing, don't let me down. Oh, I'm not close enough. All right. I haven't backed yet, so we're in back soon. All right, let's back now. I could use my potion, but that's fine. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay, let's just go breastplate. Okay, so he's going Transcendent Start, which means that he's not going to have boots for a while, so that's always good for me. Um, and also, I'm already getting my defense, so he's going to have a hard time dealing damage to me. This is such a good matchup for Athena. I love it. It's better than Ymir, actually. Mom, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so for anyone that doesn't know, that doesn't come to the stream, I have an extension that you get points for watching. And then you can use those points to say something for the stream. That's what that's about. It's mainly wholesome. Everyone here is pretty wholesome. If someone says something that's mean, you know, I just make it so they can't earn points anymore. Alright. Oh, I thought I could do it. Whoops. I, I messed up that dash. Yeah, the... Uh, this matchup's mainly good in later the game goes because as of right now, yeah, I can't really chase him too well. 
If my three is up, I would dive there. Hello, is the mic on? Yeah, it is. Dang it. Right. Yeah, right now we're both pretty even in this match, but as like I said, as it goes on, once I get my cooldown, my MP5, things get better. Also, I'm gonna upgrade Shell early. That way I have my block stacks on top of the block stacks with Shell. You'd have to use five base stacks before actually being able to damage me. It feels weird to record and stream at the same time. Cause like, I don't want to ignore chat, but at the same time. Chat said they were okay with it though. It's just one game. Give me that damage. There we go. But see how he, he like goes in to use his three or something and I just absorb the, ba the base attack? Or like his one, I think I absorbed the one also. Like, it doesn't actually use his ability when he uses his one, I think, until he actually damages me. But it means that, you know, he can't get near me enough to actually apply it. You'd have to get rid of all my block sacks, then it would finally do it. Make sure to like and while you're down here, go ahead hit that sub button next to you. Eyes up! Your middle tower is under attack. Alright. And like I said in the previous full gameplay with Tina. The best thing about her kit is her passive, which, you know, that same thing goes for this, this match. Okay, I don't have block sacks on me right now, so... Oh, good. He missed, he missed. Good stuff. Ah, oh, I missed again. We're just bullying him. Do so much damage. Hi YouTube, I don't know if he will edit this out, so bye, good luck, and enjoy the vid. <laughs> I don't know how much, if, what well, I'm gonna edit out or not. Yeah, and Athena can just kind of dive really, really far because of that reach, and Loki can't do much about it. You know, if Loki's constantly ulting out, he's never gonna kill me. What is up, you beautiful mother effers? Trelly Relly here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, th I think I'm gonna... Here we go. Here, I'm gonna switch to the YouTube scene so that alerts won't play anymore, guys. Sorry, but I think it's for the best. Alright, he still has his ult, but we're gonna absorb the base attacks. See, we're fine, we're fine. We absorbed the base attacks. He couldn't do damage to us. <laughs> even though I had... Even though I had, like, zero... You know, I can kill him. And kill him. I can kill him. I can kill him. There we go. So even though I had almost no health, he couldn't kill me because there's block stacks on shell. And then, you know, if I had had my block stacks up for Athena, that too. Such a good matchup. I think this is... You know the true counter Loki video I made? This is the actual counter Loki, like, big time. Because when he goes invisible, you just taunt him. You can dash towards him if he's running away. Um, you can base tech him through walls. You just can do everything. Alright, we gotta back before he kills us. I have three block stacks up, but yeah. Okay, next we want to go... Oh, uh, let's go Obsidian. I remember last time it went demonic, but that we found out that wasn't that great. Uh, Bracer's also good against Loki, even if he gets anti-heal. The cooldown on Bracer is amazing. Who knows, maybe I'll record more full gameplays while I'm streaming. That way people can see that, you know, I, I, up I upload them if they're good games. And this this is gonna be a good game. Oops. He did take bull demon. Whoops. See how he he didn't apply the bleed on me? Because he had all those uh block stacks to go through. He 
He's gonna ult out, probably. Oh, maybe not. No, he did he ult me? I don't remember. Is he actually gonna go and try and take my Phoenix? There's no way you get my Phoenix. There's actually zero possibility. So good against Loki. Athena's so good. One of the best Guardians. I love it. Okay, um, to, 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 what else are we going to build? We're going to build Polynomicon, of course. Usually I go Poly before Obsidian on Athena for a tower push. But this time we're going Obsidian, then we'll go Poly. Even though he didn't have defense. We, we should have went Poly. We should have went Poly before Obsidian. Alright, now let's back. Yeah, Loki just can't do anything. Like, even if I'm backing and I have three block stacks on me, he can't even stop me from backing. That's That's how frustrating it must be. Just because his entire kit is just basic attacks. I think the only damaging thing that's not base attacks that he can apply right, like actually apply on me, is his ultimate. And it's that damage is nothing without the base attack after. The thing about this matchup is you have to use the two a lot more before the the three. Which you know you usually don't want to do. And I'd brace her and shell up just in case. Your middle tower oh, whoops! Chat's telling me that I said, uh, I said Phoenix, not Tower earlier. My bad. I don't know when I said that, but correction. <laughs> See, now I know if I'm messing up. I, people can help me out. I also have the chat fact check me check things. Like if I'm like, oh, Loki's ultimate does exactly so, so damage, they can just throw facts at me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, whoops. Okay, that was bad. But I don't take any damage for it. Or I take some damage for it. We can still kill him easily. Easily. I'm sure against like really good Lokis, this would not obviously not work because the Lokis can still, you know, proxy wave and stuff. But if you have wards, you can kind of stop them from doing that. Also, Soul Reaver is good. Soul Reaver is good against Loki because he has no sustain. Did I steal it? No. What's nice is Athena's base attacks also go through tower. So if they're kind of sitting behind tower, you can still hit them. And also, once you have Paul, you can just keep doing this to take objectives. Just poke it down. Just keep poking it down until you take it. Just keep looking at the Polynomicon in the bottom left corner. And whenever it's up, just throw out ability, throw a base attack. There you go, you take tower. And look, I barely took any help for that. So, Athena's also good against tower sitters. There's not many matchups that Athena lose. Like, obviously there's some, but honestly, she's so good. I think I win with Athena more than I win with Ymir sometimes, honestly. She doesn't do as much damage in the early game as Ymir does. That's the only problem. I'm probably still killing her. Oh. Am I diving this? Is this happening? What? He went to the wrong other side of the fountain, so I couldn't taunt him. What a madman. Weapon upgrade confirmed. Uh, can I can't sell this for. Nope. Okay. Last item's probably gonna be Nemean. Double defense, still safe to do against Loki. You never. You don't wanna. You don't wanna get. Uh, you don't wanna get one shot by Loki. And then lose the game off of that. Ah, uh, he tried to do this to me last game. Sneak up, Bull Demon. I mean, he got it, but at what cost? 
At what cost? It only, it only hit my tower. It wasn't even my phoenix. Like, I think I think you'd have to be a really good Loki in order to, to make this work against Athena. Whoops. Especially if the Athena goes Breastplate right away, you know, with the cooldown. Because early game, I think Loki can still kind of slap Athena around, but then once you get to mid and late. I don't know. I mean, late, late game, Loki comes back because, you know, you can start, whoops. You can start, uh, sitting in tower and, I mean, clearing wave safe and all that. Look at that, he did, he did no damage to me, even though he, you know? I think that's it, yep. To be fair, he has no defense, but I mean, still. Like, you know, which is crazy. And look how much up my auto attacks do the Phoenix. Look at that. Just one shot the Phoenix. Back in the olden days when Obsidian applied on Phoenix, oh my god, like two base attacks could take the Phoenix on Athena. It was unstoppable. Yeah, but some guard some I mean guardians like Athena, like this matchup's so good. If you know your opponent's going Loki, like if they ban Hoi Freya, you go Athena, and honestly it's pretty much a free win. It's but the reason it's better than Ymir against Loki is that you with Ymir, he can wall off the the decoy, but it uses so much mana that it's sometimes not worth it. Also, we can maybe go Celestial, not hide the name. Celestial might actually be good because he's having a hard time, you know, actually hitting me. So he would he would barely remove any stacks. Yeah, if he if Loki just camps, I just take take the Phoenix slowly though with my base attacks, like I was talking about earlier. So camping still doesn't work that well for him. However, I could mess up and then do it to the point where I take too much damage from Phoenix and then he kills me. Loki's all about, you know, waiting for you to make a mistake. Do you see how much? Do you see me half health in there? <laughs> With just a one in auto attack with my soul regret. He still can't hit me. I took no damage from him there because he blocks stacks. They're so easy to build up too. Okay, now he's doing damage to me. Even then, I'm still like pretty safe. Look at that. Look at that. You just one shot him. Yeah, but this this Loki, uh, he was he was nice last game. He was like, you know, GG will play it. It's been an honor playing against you. So he's a nice person. Yeah, he destroyed me when I was Kepri. <laughs> but it was, it was a fun game. Uh, but I, I just really wanted to show that Athena kind of slaps Loki around. He kind of just like Loki can't do anything. If he goes invisible, runs away, Athena taunts. If he ults out, Athena dashes and taunts. If he tries to attack, you know, he gets block stacks big time. He, there's just really not much hope. <laughs> um, the only hope I think Loki would have is if he seriously proxies hard and he keeps his distance big time. But even then, Athena's just going to slowly poke down tower and Loki's not going to be poking down tower. So eventually, Athena we would win. It'd be a long game, but eventually Athena would win. But yeah, it's a it's a good good matchup for Athena, but thank you guys for watching.